Hi, hello, Roby here, and today I'll be showcasing a new game that just came out a few days ago on the Lenovo Legion Go. The game is Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, and it has the same uh, slogan as the um, previous Deep Rock game, Danger, Darkness, Dwarves. But basically, um, what the game's about is about Dwarven miners. They get put into an underground um, um, level, they drill for resources, they encounter enemies in the form of bugs, they kill them, they extract, rinse and repeat, stuff like that. And so what got me interested in this is that this is a top-down isometric shooter, which I really, really love. Well, not a shooter per se, but more of like a top-down view compared to the previous game, that came out in 2018, which was a was which was in first person view. Now this game here, we'll go ahead and start it. It came out on the 14th of February, 2024, and I just want to show you guys that it plays really, really well on the Lenovo Legion Go. It's a perfect game for pick up and play for a few minutes and then drop out. Similar to how Hell Divers is also pretty good. And so I'll go ahead and start the game now. I'll increase my volume just a little bit more. So you guys can hear it. There we go. It's going to go ahead and start the game. Um, the game right now, as far as I'm aware, is only available on Steam. I hope this game also goes to other platforms like Xbox, um, PlayStation, you know, and other PC games so like Epic and stuff like that. Because this game is a lot of fun. And there's no reason why it should be locked to just one stuff front. That's just my view on it though. So this is the game here. I'll move like I'll move closer to the camera. And so here just just start telling you to choose your brightness level. And I'll go ahead and play. It's always so beautiful here. Hazard one, please. There we go. Those are the characters in the game, just like in the um, previous Deep Rock game. You have the Scout, you have the Gunner, you have the Engineer, and you have the Driller. I just unlocked the Driller uh, yesterday night, oh well, actually early this one because I was playing late. And so let's start with the Scout here. And you can see how well it plays in a minute. So I'll go with the Recon. Um, yeah, let's do that. Four directions, shoots one. Yeah, let's do four directions. Let me get a little bit harder. And I do apologize for the reflection here. I'm still trying to get a hang of um, the right camera angles and stuff like that for you guys. And so this is it, and we start. Uh, and so essentially the game auto shoots for you. The main thing you have to do is um, control your character, the dwarf itself, um, mine the resources that you need to mine to complete the level itself, and then extract what you need to extract. And trust when I say extract, which you guys see in a minute, because the drill does not wait for you at all. So here we're gonna go ahead and pick something here. Let's pick uh, reload speed, because we need to be able to reload stuff pretty quickly. And so your weapons level up. Now different types of um, crystals there that provide crystal uh, different benefits. Some will heal your health. Um, some will do, give you other properties and stuff like that. Some is mainly for upgrade materials. Because I just leveled there. And so the game starts slow at first. We'll pick rid of fire. There we go, let me clear this here. Because this would give me um, a supply drop. Gotta get this out. Ooh, I'm getting surrounded there. I'll have to go around and get some of these resources here. There we go. 
I'll do max HP because that means I can get hit more so before dying. There we go, it's coming down. Let me get them closer. I love doing that. Let's see what artifact should I pick. Uh, let's see. Find Nitra. We'll do the red sugar. Increases max HP by two whenever we collect it. Just leveled up again. And here we'll pick a weapon. I'm gonna pick this guy here. Ooh, okay, you get out there. Get in swamp. Oh, that's some nitro there. Let's grab some, increase our HP a little bit. There we go. That's another flower there. And so for this level, I need to get six of those flowers. I've gone in two so far. Let's see. Increases weapon by two. We're going to take that. The higher level of your weapons, I think they do better when it comes to the upgrades you get with them. Let's get some gold. Go in there for upgrades later on. Some gold from here. Let me see. Uh oh, I have a boss coming after me. Nope. Oh, there's a flower there though. Two flowers actually. Let's grab that. Uh oh. Let's see. Let's do the reload here. We're gonna take the side here and get out that tiny spot we're stuck at. So this guy coming towards us fine is an elite. We need to get past him somehow. Or kill him somehow also. Let's get some gold, why not? Let's get remaining flowers, there we go. Ooh. That hurt. That hurt a lot. It's I'm gonna say critical chance on this one. Grab some of this upgrade material here. I'm gonna go around. There we go. And so what I just did there was I used the guys to explode and I'm to blow up over there. I'm also funneling this guy's here. There we go. He's dead. Drop others here. I need to grab this and skedaddle out of here. I'll take HP. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of XP too. But I need to go. Only have 20 seconds to make it back. Oh, I'm right here. Let me dilly dally a little bit, get my XP. Ooh, glad I did. We got this one here. Epic uh, reload speed here. We'll grab that. We're going to jump into the big drill. I made it out. And then in the, um, at the end of each level, you um, get access to the shop where you can um, buy stuff. I'm gonna pick this damage here because this is a big boost in damage. I can see it costs resources here. The 24 of that. It's the reason why you wanna keep an eye out and get resources as you go. Let's see, I'll increase pickup radius. And XP gain here. Because the faster you level, the faster you have access to upgrades for your weapons. So hit continue. It goes to the next stage here. And so for each mission that you have, it's five levels. Um, at least for the one I'm playing right now, which leads to a big um, boss type creature called the Juggernaut. And so right now I'm on the second level. to grab that resource there and on this level I need to grab this mushroom looking things here and grab some upgrade materials here real quick and the reason I thought I went round as opposed to digging there 
was to funnel the bugs to me through basically creating a kill box type situation here. We'll grab some health real quick. There we go. We'll just draw them in here. Since we're funneling, funneling them through that place, it's a lot easier to manage them. So let's see, we're gonna take XP gain again. Because remember, the quicker we level, the quicker we have access to stuff. I'm only breaking this just in case I need it down the line. Because the bugs will take the closest available path to you. So sometimes you want to use that to your advantage to funnel them through. There we go. I missed that. There we go. Ooh, this is good. This artifact here, the uh, BLT ration pack, 70 max HP and 2 plus 2 life leech. There we go. We'll do that. Grab the mushroom there. There's another one here. And now that's some bugs. This bugs over here, the um, greenish gray ones. You can pick those guys. You can kill those guys, so you can get a little bit of health if you need it in a pinch. And you can bait the explodey guys to blow up. Let's see. Let's do reload speed here. Oh, there's a swarm coming. Okay. Let's just funnel them in here. Let's see. Hmm, critical chance, rate of fire. Huh. Let's do that one. Ooh, I got hit there. And so that's, okay, I'm almost done with this level. Once I'm done with this level of this mission, I'll go ahead and show you my settings for the game. Let's bait that big guy. We'll bait this guy there. Grab this rare item here. Oh, and there we go, we can upgrade now. And so let's see, drones will seek out enemies and one extra drone, so we'll pick one extra drone. So we have three. Ooh, I, I got hit by that one there. And so the guy chasing right now is like the uh, mini boss for this level. Let's grab some XP on the way back. Uh, we're going to take this shotgun because it does a lot of damage. And grab some health. Ooh. Okay, now let's get back to the help rate. There we go, 50% critical chance. Let's funnel those guys in, kill as much as we can. We only have 18 seconds still, so I gotta keep it moving. Oh, I'm already here, so okay, I'm good. I'm safe, I'm safe. Let's grab one more of this. Okay, another shop here. Ooh, two legendaries. Awesome. So we're going to pick a reload speed here, which is really good. We can afford it. Now we can afford the 60% pickup rate. That is huge. That's the first time I've actually seen pickup readers in legendary form. So I'll pick that. 
Let me go down a little bit. And should I heal? No need. And so you can see the um, level markers down here on the left here. And so I'll go ahead and pause so you guys can see. Let's go to settings, which is on the top here. And see, this is the settings I'm playing at. It's just the settings are pretty simple. That's it. It's a very simple game, but it's also a lot of fun. And that's it, guys. That is um, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor on the Lenovo Legion Go. And um, if you guys are looking for something um, pretty quick and easy to pick up and play on the go, uh, pat on the pun, <laughs> this is the perfect game for that, okay? And that's it. And so with that, Roby out. Peace.